expert, Katie Lennon Dow, with sporting the new glasses today. Katie? Yeah. Rocking the new glasses. Thanks, it's, Ross. It's Good working. To see you. It's working. Let's <laughs> start with something uh, serious. Uh, Troy Davis, the convicted killer, executed yes. this week in Georgia. A lot of internet chatter from people trying to save him. Tell us yeah. about that. And I think this is a snapshot of a powerful platform. We turn to social media to have our voices heard. This week, as we know, Troy Davis involved Kim Kardashian, Russell, Lee, Russell Simmons, Kamora Lee Simmons, Jermaine Dupri, all voicing their opinion. And you know, that just adds to it. A lot of celebrities weighed in. Yes. Okay, let's move on and talk about this. This guy, he's now a former worker at Starbucks. <laughs> decided to, to put something on the internet which may not have been a good idea. What's Here's the deal. Yeah. This just in. If you hate you know what they're telling me in the control room? There are too many dirty words. We can't Oh, no. It's, it's so fabulous, <laughs> we though. We can't show it on TV. He got fired. Okay, right? so here's the deal. Right. He gets fired. He actually posted this in July, but it just goes to show you the power of digital. It lives yeah. on forever. But he didn't go out. He got a consolation prize here. He's still a winner. 300,000 views and counting. It ended up on Starbucks gossip, and that's how Starbucks found it. Mm -hmm. So here we are in September. He gets let go but he doesn't have to make the Frappuccinos for the crazy people anymore. <laughs> and can we talk about this for a second? Because I'm a Starbucks, like, I am there uh -huh. every day, right, twice right. a day. Okay. I wouldn't last a half hour. Like, I would throw something at somebody. These orders, they think baristas <laughs> are butlers. <laughs> I don't get it. Well, one of his lines is, he, people... Me every day, Russ. She's nah. always ordering the skinny vanilla latte. She, he tags that with the rich people. <laughs> I see, okay. Just so you know. Let's move on to the new Facebook. Yes. A lot of people don't like what Facebook is doing. A lot of people don't like change, as we know. Facebook Facebook had their annual F8, their developers conference this week, and two new big changes. They're, they've announced a timeline, which will allow you to see everything you've ever posted to Facebook, mm -hmm. and also this thing called Open Graph, which just in short means that you'll be able to see and share more with your Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. So it was met with a lot of outrage. Right. Again, people don't like when they see new changes, and this also uh, made for some privacy. I was going to say, I mean, Facebook doesn't, Zuckerberg doesn't appear to be the guy who's going to change this just because a lot of people are opposed to it. He's got, what, 750, what? 800 million, million users. Million. And they actually, this fact that came out this week, 500 million users, they broke a record, signed on in one day. So to say that it's not, it's just the growth is just exponential here. All right. Katie Lindell, as always. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Do you like the new Facebook? Do you like it? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm okay with it, yeah. Thumbs up. Like. Like button.